Hey you guys, I thought I'd give you a little front bed tour. Yesterday I worked really hard weeding and deadheading and just kind of getting everything tidied up for the week. And I thought I'd just share what is blooming. My sedum is about to bloom here. This guy gets the award winning for best repeat bloomer. This is Cat's Meow from Proven Winners. It literally bloomed already, huge blooms. I sheared it literally down to the ground. And look at, it's already pushing out new blooms and it looks incredible. The second show for this year, Full Sun Perennial. Here's the stats. I would highly recommend this is a high drought area of our garden and it does so well. So I would recommend this guy. So this is the second, looks so good for going almost into August. So that'll be blooming soon. Let's go around this corner. My super tunias are starting to fill in and in a few weeks they'll be even bigger. This is a new area I planted with some Daisy May and white perfusion from Proven Winners, some yarrow. This is white, uh, white diamond, firefly diamond. Just put those in. This is my invincible spirit. My black pearls. I sheared back my Veronica. It should do a second bloom for me. I took back, cut back all my blooms on my black pearl too. And coming around this way. Just have some super tunias along here. My super tunias here are doing really well. These are bubble gum. My poly petite hibiscus is blooming. It just started throwing off some blooms. It stays tiny, but look at how pretty the blooms are. They get a really pale lavender and it stays like, I think one to two feet. So super tiny. It's a Rosa Sharon. My echinacea is blooming. These were here when I moved in. It's a mix of pink and white. I cut back my columbine. And I'm getting into some bright sun. But I just wanted to show you my storm shelters, you guys. So normally I don't do videos in bright sun, but I felt like these blooms, can you see the water glistening on them? They look literally, it's like sparkling. I just did some pictures and it looked like just glitter on the petals. It was so pretty. I'm not sure if you guys are getting that in the camera, but these blooms are incredible. You guys, this is a must have daylily. These are incredible. I think this is my favorite day lily I have ever owned. This is my bananas cream. I just deadheaded. It's still going strong. I took off a lot of the dead blooms. And the storm shelter. Let me find the tag. I think I have it here, hopefully. Yeah, I do. So this is a biggie, 21 inches. I'd say this, no, it says 24. I'd say definitely this is 24 for me, maybe even a little bit bigger. I'd have to measure. It's a hardy daylily, which is cool for all of us northern gardeners. Three to nine. Here's the stats on this. Can you read it? It's kind of bright. But these blooms are absolutely incredible. Just spectacular. They have these beautiful ruffled edges. A yellow center that just kind of highlights the beauty the eggplant color of this bloom it is spectacular you guys this is definitely hands down one of the most beautiful flowers for sure daylilies I have ever owned so I just wanted to show you hopefully you could see the shimmer in the water maybe from far away you can see it a little bit better but it just looked like glistening little glitter on them. So you guys, this is my front bed. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. And oh, my serendipity is just about to bloom. I'll share that. That's on my upper tier. 
I will share that once it starts to bloom. That is a Allium from Proven Winners. That is incredible. I shared that with you earlier, but this is one that I had planted last year. So I'll be sharing that soon. So you guys, how are your gardens looking this year? Tell me about them. How are they growing? What's blooming? I'd love to hear. Let me go back this way. Love to hear about your perennials, what you love, what you don't love. And so tell me about them. Thanks you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video and leave me a comment below about your gardens. My bunny lost his ear. <laughs> Gotta cement glue that on. Bye you guys.